Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we expanded to the left and then put the perimeter wall all the way around that. We then also sectioned it off so the top and bottom sections are ready for the placement of forestry and all of the um, other stuff like the tiles around and the metal detectors, things like that. We also then planned out the centre as a rough sort of plan and idea. This is going to be, well originally it was going to be Supermax but I think we may change that to high risk and Supermax then for the centre uh, death row but there is going to be some changes made uh, shortly on that one we have just received some people so I'm just going to double check uh, you can see we've got a couple of traits here that we should really try to find out what they are so I'm going to turn on uh, one of our informants there and uh, have a little quick chat to see what we've got so we have all stokel all of them and nobody being targeted so that is perfectly acceptable we do have danger level going up because of serious complaints we will double check that we've got a needs here we can see that there is a serious food need that's fine because of the time of day it is it's 11 o'clock and if we check the regime we can see that uh, eat time is right at the end there this new regime we've run it for about what three four episodes now and it seems to be functioning okay it would be better if we have two eat times but it's a bit different so I uh, quite like it although as people have pointed out the lockup is in the wrong place because what happens is people work in the kitchen they work up until this point and then they stop so the rest of the food preparation has to be done by the staff which is not good so what I'm going to do I'm going to change that lockup and I'm going to change it originally we had it in the center and I don't like that I think that's a bit too prohibitive so we could have sleep shower yard free time and then lock up like that one two three four five six six hours of work we could do that we could do that um you know what for the time being as it is We'll probably stick with it, simply because we don't want to upset the apple cart. We'll see. Anyway, what I want to do in this episode is go ahead and build some buildings on the right, redesign this central section, and then possibly start work on some forestry, because it takes a while to uh, for, for that to sort of um, see the return of investment. So let's go ahead and go to normal speed. We're going to go down to check, see where that's being sniffed at. That is sniffing there. That could be legitimate. It's unlikely. I'll search all the toilets in that cell block just to make sure. And then what I want to do is go over to our walls and doors. Actually, no, planning first. And what I want to do is plan off some more parole because at the moment we have the four parole, which you would think is more than sufficient, but uh, alas, it is not. It is not uh, It is not sufficient for what we need and the amount of people that we have here. So we're just going to put in some standard doors in on the front and back, like so. This is basically copying exactly what we have here. We may go ahead and add some more as well, but uh, six should be okay. It's certainly going to be um well more than what we have currently at 33 percent more in fact anyway so they're going to go ahead and do that it looks like uh christopher smith is coming down from a little wander around the outside and i'm going to search the prisoner there and we can see that yes they had a mobile phone on them so we will just take it off them because we can it looks like it's going to kick off in there yeah and it's gaskin what a surprise ed gaskin who has failed parole for the 57th time and kicked off for the 59,000th time we're going to go over to our foundation building brick and we're going to place all of that as brick it says require an entrance it will be done shortly and then we will go Go across the center with our wall obviously we didn't do the wall because it would be demolished in uh, in due course anyway if we built it beforehand so let's just see one more bit to do and then that should be built like so there we go we will then designate all of that we also need let me put it down to a more reasonable speed there i'm going to go over to deployment and then to the patrols with the blue patrol we will build that up and then inside in here actually sorry that's the wrong thing a uh, deployment and all the direction there we go that is a bit better and that's how they uh, will get inside these rooms here these rooms obviously will need some power if we've got utilities we can see that we have Oh, actually already got the power in there, so that is fine. It's just I didn't have auto light on. So what I'll do is go to quick build and clone, and I can clone all of these visit tables. One can go there, the other one can go there. Not only does the cl uh, clone the two lights, it also clones the table, the radiator, as well as the other stuff as well. Let's just go over to utilities, hot water pipe, and then the hot water pipe will run up like so. And that should connect actually you know what because of the distance it might not it might be one of those things where it's just outside of both that and this one here but we'll have to see how we get on it looks like uh, Sean Gray is throwing up all over the place because they've uh, had drugs there 
Gonna wait till everybody is back in their cells and then go for a shakedown because we do like to do that. In terms of cash, we are receiving, uh, it was about 4,000 earlier, but it's now down to, oh, there's a tunnel. Uh, about 2,000 a day now, so it's halved, and yeah, we've got 18,000 uh, in the kitty, but that's okay. As you can see, we have a fairly decent tunnel. One, two, three people involved in all of that, so let's go ahead and remove tunnels and then prioritize the removal of that. We'll speed it back up to the max speed. We did think there was something around here, but it doesn't look like that is the case, and also, having searched around here, it's very strange that we didn't find, because we searched the entire cell block, so they've either just started digging this, or we failed to find it last time, and it looks like Ed Gaskin is now kicking off. If this was a higher risk facility, almost certainly what would happen is we would have an armed guard just not give, uh, <laughs> not give a single hoot anymore and start opening fire. And... The warden is now calling. While he's calling, I'm going to just do this, and then this, and then we'll see what he wants. I just received word that the prisoners are unhappy with how much time they have to work during the day and are planning to cause trouble if it isn't reduced. A guard overheard someone say that if they had to work more than two hours, they were going to tear this place apart. So, if we have them working more, it means that, yeah, they will kick off. So I'm guessing free time is going to go to there. We could we could just accept the fact that uh, they're going to kick off and, and do it anyway. It is not unreasonable for us to do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just getting some more guards there. Uh, we could do that. It is a possibility. However, at this stage in the game, I'm not too sure whether I want to do that or not. I'm also just double-checking patrols because we should have some magenta patrols in here and assign guards to that just on the level one schedule there all right so the, yeah we could let them kick off we could just say right sack it but we don't have armed guards we don't have a full taser rollout or anything like that so it would be unlikely to succeed we do have the death row on there we also want to start to research permanent punishments we don't have guard towers and we haven't done the taser rollout i think the taser rollout is something that we should probably go ahead and do at this stage because we are thinking about getting some higher risk um prisoners and we also want to go over to our policy uh sorry our programs rather going down over to pearl hearing and get one two three four five six seven eight is it yep there we go so we have uh, a lot of parole hearing. How many is that? It says 20 in the queue, but that's not this. So, uh, do we run... Do we run four? Twenty. I think we run twenty a day. Yeah. Either way, you can see, parole has been extended somewhat. And that means, obviously, more prisoners... Potentially being released early, which means more money and all of that sort of thing. And then more people coming in. Either way, looks like none of them had passed their parole, so they're going to go back to work. They keep walking past here and smelling something. It's it's happened too often for it to be coincidence, but I mean, you never really know. Anyway, so we can see that people are heading over to the corners there. Um, I think I mentioned previously about... Uh, changing up so these areas around here are indoors it doesn't matter it's long as the, the if there's just an empty open space without foundation within uh, 10 or 12 or 10 i think of the this edge then you're going to get stuff thrown in uh, there's loads of prisoners released early so that is good also someone being brought over to here to um get treated and i've just realized oh, that is filthy we, how many janitors do we have is it six or four it is six janitors and it's still dirty around the place. And we do still have people assigned to that cleaning cupboard, which isn't a small one either. We may go ahead and add another cleaning cupboard in to get more jobs, but we'll see how that one goes. Um, there was a ding -a ling noise there, which means that one of the things in bureaucracy has been finished. That'll be the taser rollout, which now means if we go down to... Oh, all rooms are booked. Ah, yeah, so this... We have thought we see no teacher, all rooms booked. It's going to be shouting at us, and the reason for that is we've changed that work slash free time. So I'm not going to change it back. If we do that, then it will... Well, if I change it back, it'll kick off because of this event that's currently in play. And if we 
reschedule everything, it'll just be a bit of a nightmare. So I'm not going to bother. Just double checking. Yeah, once again, look, you can see that they are smelling tunnels around here. So I'm going to once again search the toilets in there. That has happened too often to be coincidence. There's one there next to Gaskin's cell. That is Richard um, Olber... El Ol Olber... Each? Each? Something like that. Uh, however, they were digging, but not around. There's nothing around here. Very surprised. Let's remove that tunnel there once again. It is sleep time. I'm not going to do another search tonight. What I do want to do, though, is make sure that that is in. Those metal detectors are in. That's fine. So what we'll do is add in the flooring. So over to our flooring, to the standard concrete tileage, and then we're going to add the concrete tiles all the way around. A lot of this is just for flavor, you understand? Like, a lot of it you don't, we don't need to have in. Oh, I should also point out that eventually we probably want to put in some extra bits around here, this perimeter wall, um, like so ways to go from this into here, that is what's been suggested. I haven't done it simply because we don't have patrols around there yet anywhere, uh, we've already got them around here, so the double skin perimeter wall is just not really for checking tunnels, like where we have done previously, but is more rather for, more rather for things like, um, well, subsidence when part of the wall falls down you know it, it's going to break part of it not all of it potentially i think it can break all of it because i think it's like a like a five by five subsidence but anyway uh let's go over to our area here and we want to change it to a forestry and this is going to not cost anything that is a 43 by 31 this won't cost anything but let's just see what our money goes down to. We've currently got, let's call it 5,000, 49,990. And we're gonna spend money on trees. We have spent 8,600 on trees. Excellent. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's go to normal speed because we have just received a fair amount of prisoners. We have some prisoners that are quick, some prisoners that are, well, are of an, unknown reputation and traitage so we will see once again go on to go and do our little uh, little chat with leander who apparently knows everything even outside of the facility so there is the traits that we have gleamed so we have stalkal fearless strong extremely tough quick strong stalkal and fearless so again not traits that we are really caring too much about when it comes to, well, like being in here, so snitch and things like that, and is that Gaskin? Yes. It's like such a common occurrence now that we really don't, we just A, expect it when it kicks off that it's going to be Gaskin, B, we don't really care, because there's not much we can do about it, <laughs> not at this stage anyway. Um, oh, you should also point out we uh, did point we did put a lot of flooring in last episode, it was, uh, well, that should be plainly clear because we spent a hell of a lot on flooring, which I think was worth it. I know... It is just an aesthetic thing. That is all it is. It's just aesthetics. But I think it was worth doing. Anyway, over to the centre here. This is where we have the 5x5 uh, five five cells. And this is where they have permanent lockdown in here. So this is going to be um, high risk and super max. Probably a mix between the two. But the ratios haven't yet fully decided. However, I want to, because it's been... Uh, because it's going to be, like, a different size, we might as well shrink it down a bit. Because, well, at the end of the day... These people in here, they have a 5x5, five five, but they very rarely come out of the, the room. So we might as well have it. So we sort of shrink it down a bit and we gain an extra two spaces for this death row to be expanded upon. Because the, 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 even though the walkway is only one, like size one, they're very rarely going to be walking in there. There's no real uh, point in them uh, going there. Another thing as well is that these two rooms, which I think originally were going to be like common rooms and such... Um, I don't know whether we need to do that, because if this is simply going to be a, well, actually, if this was going to be a like sort of common roomy type thing, we could just do that, and have that as like a bit of a, this is going to be a bit of a common room, and this is going to be where you eat, and then the entrance can just go in, say, that doesn't really matter, I just go in there, perhaps, and then this is going to be our main entrance for the death row, and then the death row is obviously going to be quite large, probably oversized, but then not too much, there. once again, it's there, something is there, I'm going to dismantle that toilet, I'm ripping these toilets out, I'm just going to take the china out, and we'll see what's underneath it, 
There we go. So, from this person, so we were uh, checking the one right next to it, which was not the way forward. They've dug along and then down. When it first happened, we just called, you know, erroneous result. There was no reason to presume that that thing would be legitimate. And the second and third time, it was like, okay, it's pretty likely that that is going to be a legitimate tunnel. But we just weren't too sure exactly where it was. Anyway, we're going to prioritize that. Okay, so you see the trees have now been planted. Sorry, they haven't been planted. They've been ordered in the forestry. They have not yet been planted. For that, we need more gardeners. And we're going to hire three gardeners. Let's hire another two more. So five gardeners hired um, just now. That's six in total. Even though that's going to cost a lot of money. We have so many paroles going that we have the ability to do that. We've got three people that have just went up to the wall here. I'm not even going to bother searching them because we know for a fact. There we go. Look, we've just got nine grand for uh, early prisoner release. So that is excellent. It's interesting how much money you can make if that is your objective, you understand, on... Uh, just doing parole. So if you work on education and reform and parole, then that's pretty good. Whereas before parole, education and reform, you got the sort of... You, it was good to do because you would be safe in the knowledge that you are trying to reform the prisoners and all of that good stuff. But in reality, it's just a money sink in the game. It would just... it wouldn't... you wouldn't be able to uh, do anything. So, yes, you are correcting behaviour uh, and, you know, rewarding behaviour, etc. But not uh, gaining any money for it and it was just a huge sink. Whereas now, you do reform, you can easily get a decent amount of money. Because if you do reform, that means they generally are more well behaved. That means that they can be paroled early, which means you can get a lot of money just from the... Uh, from the parole there. So that could be a potential ch option for change here. You can see we've got these two huge areas followed by a security room and then this. So this security room will be staff only so the prisoners here cannot go through. They're not allowed to go through. Um, just like we have over here where we've got this little section. So if we go over to our deployment you see that little section is staff only which means these prisoners can't come out. We could probably do the same in here so this will be uh, that's a problem. Uh, maybe one could be protective custody. Sorry, uh, one could be supermax. One could be high risk, so high risk, and then supermax, something like that. We couldn't mix them. Um, well, we could technically. There could be in here, but then we'd have to change this to staff only, and then it would just be a bit of a nightmare. So I'd rather have it as one rather than the other. And then this one in the centre, obviously, is going to be death row. This will be a security room, and. Yeah, what we'll probably do is we'll design this one in the centre. This one in the centre will have sort of cell, 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 cell. I mean, if we did on the other side, it would be pointless anywhere. Um, what I was tempted to do, very tempted to do, is have a security room inside of here, followed by... So we've got two security rooms. I mean, it's, it's a high-risk facility, you know, that's going in here. It's a... Uh, you need to have it fairly secure. Uh, we have something like that in here where we have, say, I don't know, a security room like that. Then off to this side, we'll have like something like that where we have some solitary like that for both sides, you see. And then it means if these ever do something that requires solitary, because this is shared solitary outside, they then can go in here. So that is an option. That is an option. Um, we could probably do without the security room. We could even, if we wanted to, just build it onto this side and just have it like that. Yeah, somewhere like that, perhaps. Then do that. Similar to this, you see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, three, six. 19. That's probably oversized. Probably do with 10. 10 should be fine. On either side. What size are we on there? 8. Alright. So you come in here. you got different stuff in here for whatever. This is just like an open area really where we'll have guards. 
either side we'll have our cells I'm an even now it's oversized it's even even at this stage this is too large for for death row because of the amount of prisons that you get um but you get the idea that's that's what we'll do that's the rough idea for the lack of any other better option really um I know there was a couple of people that requested that on the outside here we actually make this external um and have the security room like that and then in this bit we have a sniper tower like that so if they ever come out of here and kick off you've got a direct line of sight you could do that but having the snipers there will then start to have the detrimental effect of applying suppression and things like that and it's just a road i don't want to go down if i'm honest with you anyway you can see that these trees are now being planted in the hard frozen ground we are receiving even more money which is up to 37 grand just want to double check here um we do have the option to buy some of our sh uh, shares uh, which is 53 grand in terms of our bank loan we are going to get rid of that now we had a 25 grand bank loan just to finish off the flooring so that will increase our daily cash flow. Currently is sleep time, so we will do a bit of a shakedown. We do have some overdoses, and that's just the sort of general thing here. Ah, today's beverage is a nice cup of coffee. And I think then we will check... Oh, there is a tunnel. Mm, that's hardly worth worrying about. That's not even a tunnel. That's just someone who's used the to flushed the toilet a bit too vigorously. If it's only a couple of squares, I'm not too worried about that apparently a lot of cable are being laid in there uh right so that's fine let's go ahead and remove tunnels we can see that there are no tunnels that is good and over to shower time nine prisoners of normal security will be arriving shortly i think i will go ahead and go to building brick and then place this in here like so cancel that first uh let me put the wall in Wall down to there, and then a standard door in there. Do we need a staff door? I think we probably do, and for the sake of how we normally lay this out. Doing that. Mm, yeah, go on then. Okay. More intake. Oh. Storkel, tough, fearless. Extremely, extremely tough, volatile instigate. Uh, instigate is the problem child. We've activated that. Uh, they must have been very close. We can see they've got you know, all the standard traits. Um, the question is the instigator. Andrew Hancock, prison number 13608514. Sentenced to seven years for multiple crimes, including assault and perjury. What's the seven years? Okay, fair enough. Um, instigator prisoner should suit of discontent in all those nearby when caused trouble. Nearby prisoners feel compelled to do the same. One could argue that him inside protective custody isn't a problem. There's Gaskin. We just see the extremely volatile trait and go, yep, yeah, he's got that hat on. We know who he is. I'm very tempted to put them into the... If I move instigators over to here, it wouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. I'm going to try it. It means we have to go around and change all of the other people too, but that same thing. So just sort of cursory look around here. I think that might be it. There's only a couple. It also means that we can receive more prisoners, so that's always a good thing. Didn't do a shakedown last night like I wanted to, but there you go. That is now pretty much sorted. We're going to go for building brick. We'll place all that in there, obviously requiring an entrance. And then it's going to do the other uh, rest of it. So we'll go to rooms and then cleaning. And we'll designate this as cleaning cupboard. Hasn't got any lights in, but that's not too much of an issue. And... There we go. So we'll change that to cleaning cupboard. We'll go ahead to deployment, to direction. That'll come up and then in. And then we will have to change to make sure that is staff only, which it is. Oh, it still is, which is fine. We will go ahead and we'll add in some lights. So one, two, three. The heating is working in there, which is good. However, 
question I have is, do we need heating in that cleaning cupboard? I don't think we have heating in the other one, do we? We don't, because they don't stay there. Let me just take uh, any old garden, say, go in there. Uh, what? Since when was it filled with <laughs> all of the bleach under the sun? Um, okay. Prison labour. Let's assign 22 jobs to that. <laughs> uh, and we'll put the flooring in, which is these marble tiles. Um, it just means that we can clean the prison more because it is filthy. At the moment, it is dirty mainly because we've changed it so it's only two hours of work time throughout the entire day. However, you know, it shouldn't be that in, uh, normally. And I'm happy to say that that's a lot of people working in there. Let's have a quick look at that. We have... 24 prisoners qualified there, and that was almost maxed out, so that's excellent. That is good. You can see we've got uh, stacks there of license plates. That's all getting sold. We've got, in terms of the programs, six interested slash qualified, so the carpentry apprenticeship's also doing quite good. Let's just double-check our grading. Reoffending rate, 22%. Punishment, 7. Reform, 5. Security, 1. Health, minus 2. So it hasn't really moved around much. Paroled early is hovering around that between sort of um, 10 and 14 percent currently on 12. 197 has uh, been paroled early so that's really really good. So out of the prisoners, uh, 293 of them have been released, 197 were paroled early so the majority of them were paroled early so yeah interesting. Anyway I think we will leave it there for this episode. Looks like we have a couple of people in there. Oh there's Gaskin. I'm assuming no they really don't want to be a, <laughs> an informant. They generally don't want that at all. I'm going to double check and no. So I want to see about the instigators around here. Not seeing any. Not saying there isn't any, just I'm not seeing any. Okay, so there we are. That should be that sorted. We will leave it there for this episode. Next episode, what we will do is make sure that we have this building built. I think we'll go ahead and do that. At least get that building built um, to begin with. We'll do a full shakedown just at the start of the episode and overall generally progress on and obviously have to make some decisions about this. It'll depend on money because I think this is going to cost more than what we have, but we can at least put the walls in around it and things like that. So we will leave it there. Next episode, we'll do all of the aforementioned things. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.